Talk? Hey, hey. Okay. We're the monkeys. People say we monkey around. But we're too busy making cocktails to put anybody down. Hey, welcome back. Um, it's been a hell of a journey with this uh, ice wine cocktail thing, hasn't it? Um, I've been enjoying it. I hope you are too. Uh, anyway, I've been just following recipes found on the internet from wineries that have put these recipes out there. And some of them aren't too bad at all. But I thought I'd make one on my own, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> okay. Uh, this is uh, Bruce's Ice Wine Cooler, all right? I don't know. I could use a better name, I guess. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin with ice wine. Of course we are. Um, we're gonna go with one ounce of our Riesling here. And I just splashed all over the place. Uh, yeah, okay, one ounce, yeah. I'm half making it up. I've never tried this, so it, it's just something in my head floating around, right? Uh, we're gonna follow that with some gin. Um, kind of gin. Now, I got aviation. I'm going with two ounces. <laughs> I mean, all these other drinks have been uh, kind of uh, low ABV, right? Uh, so let's bump it up a notch. And let's throw in a little bitter component here. Some Aperol, okay? I'm going to go with an ounce. So right off the bat, we've got, whoa, a pretty color. <laughs> right off the bat, we've got something with some kick-ass to it, right? <laughs> if you're gonna have a drink, I say, have a drink. <laughs> Put some hooch into it. Okay, let's follow this up with a little bit of citrus. And I've decided to use, um, some lime, some fresh pressed lime, okay? And I'm looking for, I'm just thinking off the top of my head here, I'm looking for like three quarters of an ounce, which is probably gonna take pretty much this entire lime. I think I'm there. Yeah. Three quarter ounce fresh press lime juice. Okay, let's uh, slide this off to the side. Grab, we're gonna do our garnish, right? Uh, <laughs> cucumber, whoa, <laughs> that's just, that's just insane. Of course it is. Um, where's my, where's my, here it is. And we're gonna do a little garnish with cucumber. It's just gonna make it so refreshing. You know what? I should have probably used Hendrix, thinking about it. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, so we're just gonna slice that off. And we're gonna do a couple little slices here, okay? Actually, that one looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, let's get rid of this and this. And that'll be awesome in your, uh, awesome in your salad, <laughs> the rest of it, right? Um, do I want the whole thing? Probably not. So all we're gonna do really is just take this wonderful thin, thin slice. And I like it because it's got the, uh, it's got the, 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 the outer uh, skin and giving it color, right? So basically all we're gonna do is we are just going to intertwine this into our pick, like so. Nice and simple. I mean, how, how, how simple can you get? That is beautiful. 
That is beautiful. <laughs> yep, that's beautiful. Okay, let's <laughs> back to our drink, okay? It will be beautiful by the time we're done, I hope. I've never made this cocktail. Uh, it was just something rattling around in my brain, in my head. Uh, we're gonna ice this drink, okay? A little bit more, not much. That's good enough. Pop a lid on and shake it cool, like a cooler. <laughs> I don't know, man, just shake it. Cool as a cucumber. Cool, cool as a cucumber, yeah. Wow, I need sunglasses. <laughs> Wish I had sunglasses. Okay, shake her up. Shake it good, shake it hard. Yeah. Ooh, like I said, <laughs> I've never done this one before. I've got this uh, little uh, footed Collins glass here. And we're just gonna top our glass up with a little bit of, see, that's about right actually. That's about right. We're gonna to top our glass up here with some ice and we're just gonna strain it out. Nice color. Looking like a summer drink again. <laughs> and leave a little bit of room at the top for some soda water, just to get it nice and uh, fresh and sparkly. Actually, you could use a sparkling wine would be quite nice in this, but we're not using much, like an ounce. That's about it. Just give it a little gentle stir. Pop in our garnish. That's kind of fun, eh? Yeah, baby. All right, let's uh, see what this thing tastes like. It looks lovely. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm surprised. This is really actually quite tropical. Again, um, a summer cocktail. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just my desire for summer to be here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I did I did a good job. What can I say about it? It's light, it's refreshing. The lime is really coming through nicely. Um, on the nose, I'm getting I'm getting uh, cucumber. <laughs> so it's like really fresh, right? Um, the ice wine is like kind of buried because we didn't use a, that much of it. It's certainly not sweet. <clears throat> yeah, that's a, this is a, this is nice. The Aperol uh, seems to counteract that ice wine to balance the sweet levels and acidity. Would it be any different if you had Hendrix in there? It might be more cucumbery. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're going to have to make another one and find out. Well, not right now. I had a couple drinks right now. <laughs> anyway, this is actually, yeah, you serve this to your guests um, on the patio and they're going to go, ooh, what did you do? This is nice. It's actually a beautiful thing. I'm very happy with that and I'm, you know, I'm actually kind of excited because it was just in my head. I wonder if this would work. And I think, you know, out of all the cocktails we did, this one has the most oomph. And the others were very low ABV other than the uh, Canadian in Manhattan, where it was just all booze, right? Um, but even that, I don't know. The flavor was Manhattan-ish-y. This, is just a summery kind of a fresh kind of yeah i'm liking it i'm liking this 
Well, you know, I don't know what else I can say other than thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed our little uh, mini series here on ice wine cocktails. And if there's any other kind of little things that you'd like to see, uh, please drop me a line and let me know. Um, we'll work on it. But this was fun, right? <laughs> this was fun. Anyway, I got I got some more ice wine to uh, conquer. Um, I got, yeah, well, that one's almost pretty much done. And then there's this puppy that's, how old is this one again? From 2005? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this would be interesting in, in some cocktails too because, well, it's... It's lost its acidity, right? So it's become more syrupy, more sweet, more uh, molassesy. Molassesy? Is there such a word? You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, ice wine. Wait, <laughs> I need a joke about ice wine. Oh. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Ice wine. No, sorry, I screwed it up. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ice. Ice who? No, I still screwed it up. Wait a minute. I had it. I lost it. Ice wine who? Ice wine who? Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> it don't make a lick of sense. What makes a lick of sense is this cocktail. So, anyway. Ah, that was pretty cheesy. Say good night, Bruce. <sighs> good night, Bruce. It's all about the pulse! The pulse of Christmas! <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll be supporting us. How wonderful would that be? Thank you. Cheers.